phonetics and spoken english now in this video let us see about vowel classification already we have seen that totally 44 phonemes are there and out of that 20 sounds are vowel sounds and uh, in that pure vowel sounds are monotongs are 12 and the remaining 8 are diphthongs so in this video let us see about monotongs. Monotongs are classified into front vowels, back vowels and central vowels. There are four front vowels. E as in theme, E as in fill, E as in set and A as in sat. Back vowels, there are five distinctive back vowels. A as in car. O as in pot, O as in cot, U as in foot and U as in pool. Central vowels. Central vowels. There are three central vowels and three sounds are also somewhat similar to each other with slight variation. O as in cut and O as in bird and uh, as in a uh, go. Now, let us see how we are going to classify these bubble sounds or monotones. Front close, front half close, front half open and open. That is, this close, half close, half open and open tells about the height of the tongue. Close means it is closer to the heart palate. Half close means it is little below the heart palate. And half open position will be still lower. Open position, it does not go anywhere towards the heart palate. Okay. And front, central and back, that tells about the part of the tongue or the position of the tongue, the front part of the tongue, the center part of the tongue. And the back part of the tongue. So on top you see front, central and back. On other sides you see close, half close, half open and open. Sometimes when you browse you will find it as high, mid and low. This high, mid and low is classified according to the American accent. Okay. But as we are dealing with the British accent. We have to classify it as close, half close, half open and open. Okay. So, there are three term labels I have told you. Part or position of the tongue, height of the tongue and also the position of the lips. Whether it is rounded or it is unrounded. So, let us now go on to the front vowels. As I have told you, the front vowels deals only with the front part of the uh, diagram. Okay. So, this front part alone we are going to deal with. Front vowels. There are four front vowels. E, E, E and E. Okay. So when we say E what happens is. This is a long vowel sound as a colon is placed after the symbol. So, this is a long vowel sound and we pronounce the sound. What happens is during the articulation of the vowel, the front part is raised to the direction of the heart palate. That is the tip of the tongue goes towards the heart palate. And when we say E, what happens is the lips are spread. Then as it is a long vowel and then it can also be described as a front, close, unrounded vowel. This is the three term label. Front is a part of the tongue and close it is the height of the tongue and the lip position is unrounded. So this vowel sound E, it occurs initially, medially and finally in a word. For example, wheat. In wheat it is the initial sound. In meat it is the medial sound and T it is the final sound. So in these three positions of the word also the sound E can occur. Now the short sound E. During the articulation of the sound E what happens is 
the tip of the tongue does not move but the hinder part that is the back part of the front position is raised in the direction of the hard palate but it does not touch the half palate or it does not go towards the half palate very close so what happens is the position is between close and half close it is neither towards half close nor towards close it is between these two okay and the lips are also loosely spread okay it is a front unrounded vowel between close and half close and this sound e can occur initially medially and finally all right so the first one e is also an unrounded vowel the second one e short e is also an unrounded vowel the next one set a uh, as in set so we usually found this uh, find this sound in most of the words where we do not stress on the vowel sounds there the consonant sounds will be stressed more than the vowel sound in such cases we use this sound during the articulation of the sound what happens is the front of the tongue is raised here also the tip will not move uh in the direction of the hard palate to a position between half close and half open what happens is the tongue is still lower when we pronounce a uh. the lips are spread or it is neutral it is the front unrounded vowel between half close and half open in this what happens is the vowel occurs initially and medially and it does not occur finally because i already told you the consonant sounds are stressed more than the vowel sound and so it does not occur finally when it occurs finally what happens it becomes only a silent word and that vowel will not be pronounced at all okay the next one is sat a during the articulation of this vowel sound a the front of the tongue is raised to a position lightly below the half position the lips are neutral this is a front unrounded vowel just below the half open position this vowel also occurs initially and medially it does not occur finally because the consonant sounds are stressed when this vowel comes and to memorize this there is an easy step i'll tell you 1 2 3 4 the front vowel is in the closed position the first one e the second one in the front vowel is in the second position in one box itself we have two vowels then the third one that is in the second box and the fourth one is in the final box so when we mark the front vowel we come from upwards to the bottom one 1 2 3 and 4 so like this you can remember how to mark the front vowels now let us go on to the back vowels back vowels back part of the diagram i have already told you from front vowels we are going we have marked from first to the last okay but in this case what happens is from the bottom to the top that is how we are going to mark it so this is a long sound a ah. okay when this sound is articulated the back part of the tongue is fully open that is it does not go towards the hard palate the lips come uh, sorry the tongue comes tongue the lips are neutral so what happens is this a uh, is the back open unrounded vowel when you pronounce a uh, also your lips will not be rounded so it is called as unrounded so this vowel a uh, occurs initially medially and finally as in art heart far the next one as in pot short a the back of the tongue is raised in the direction of the soft palate during articulation and it is in fully open position that is a little above the long a sound the lips are 
around it. Thus, R can be described as a back open rounded vowel. Because there is a lot of difference when you say A and A. Okay. So, A occurs initially and medially as in on and in what. It does not occur finally. A as in caught. This is also a long vowel. You can see the colon placed after A. During articulation, the back of the tongue is raised in the direction of the soft palate to a height between half closed and half open. The lips are rounded. It is a long vowel and A is thus a back rounded vowel between half closed and half open. That is the tongue will be in the center, neither on top, neither at the bottom. The vowel A occurs initially, medially and finally as in order. In order it is the first sound. In what the sound comes in the middle and in law it comes finally. Ooh. During articulation what happens? The back of the tongue is raised in the direction of the soft palate. The soft palate is the roof of the mouth which is somewhere near the throat. When you touch it with your tongue you will see that the hard palate is hard and the soft palate will be a little softer than the hard palate. Okay. So what happens is between close and half position. Close and half close position. The lips are loosely rounded. Who is thus a centralized back Rounded vowel between close and half close. The vowel does not occur initially. It occurs medially as in look. Then finally as in to and as in do. But when it occurs finally, it will not be a stressed word. It will be an unstressed word. Word. Only when it occurs medially, it will be a stressed word. Long woo sound as in fool. During articulation, the back of the tongue is raised in the direction of the soft palate almost to a close position. That is towards the entire soft palate. The lips are closely rounded. When you pronounce U itself, you will understand that your lips are in rounded position. When you say U and U, it is in rounded position. Okay, that is also closely rounded. The vowel occurs initially, medially and finally as in U's. This is long U when we use it for U's. Okay, and then stu. It is in the medial position. So, there are five back vowels and when we are marking the back vowels, we are going to mark it only from bottom position to the top position. So, in the bottom position, you have two vowels. That is the final block between uh, open and half open. That is in fully open position, a little above the open position. And then caught. Uh, that will be between half close and half open. And both the U's come under close and between half close position. So, when you learn something, remember like this so that it will be easy for you to understand and keep it in your memory for a longer time. Now, let us see to central vowels. The central vowels, I have already told you, the center part of the diagram is only used that also between Half close and half open, a little below half open. The fully open position is not at all used for central vowels. So, the first sound is a. Uh. During articulation of this sound, the center of the tongue is raised between open and half open. The lips are neutral. Thus, the received pronunciation uh, is thus a central unrounded vowel 
between open and half open. The vowel occurs initially and medially. As in up, it is in initial position and medially it is as it is in but and as it is in cut. But it does not occur finally. The second one, er. Uh, it is a long sound and during the articulation, the center of the tongue is raised in the direction of the roof of the mouth where the hard and the soft palate meet to a position between half close and half open. The lips are neutral. It is a long vowel. Therefore, the received pronunciation er uh, is thus a central unrounded vowel between half close and half open. The vowel sound er uh, occurs initially, medially and finally as in er. Uh, it is in the uh, initial position. In turn, it is in the medial position and in fur, it is the final position. In all these words, you would find that after the vowel sound, there is always an R there. And we do not stress that R when it comes in between, in the middle of a word. And so, in such cases, we use this long uh, U-R, E-A-R, E-A-R, okay? And then in word I-R, so when it comes with a vowel, when R comes with, an vowel, with another vowel, it is pronounced as, uh, it is a long sound. Now, a go. Uh, this is also another a. Uh, but you have two positions for this a uh, sound. If it comes in the non-final position, that is if it comes in the middle of a word, or if it comes in the initial position, the center of the tongue is raised to a position between half close and half open. That is what is marked there, that inverted E there. The lips are neutral. Non-final E is thus a central unrounded vowel between half close and half open. If the occurs, if this vowel occurs in the final position, the center of the tongue is raised to the half open position, that is, the marking should be exactly on the half open position line. The center line and the half open position line. So, in non-final position, it will be a little above half open position. And for the final, what happens is, it is exactly on the half open position. The vowel a uh, occurs initially, medially and finally. As in allowed, allowed, it is in the first position. Purpose. Purpose, you have two vowel sounds. The first vowel sound is a long vowel sound. And after the second P, there is another vowel sound. That only is for uh, a sound. Then murder. U R. The first U R is for a long a sound. And the second one, the, or the final uh, one E R, that is for a. So, you should uh, understand that for a alone, you have two positions. One is between half close and half open and the other one is exactly in the half open position. <coughs> now, we have already seen about the lip position, rounded and unrounded. All right. So, when you say E, that is the first uh, position, I is written on it. That is loosely spread. And this is when we say ka, ah, here also it is unrounded position, it is not rounded. But whereas when you see u and o, for u it is closely rounded. And this inverted c, this is for the a position, this is open rounded position. So there are four lip positions that is also should be considered only for back vowel sounds. The lips will be rounded except R. Ah. Whereas in central uh, vowels as well as in the front vowels, the position will be unrounded. That is, it will be in neutral or it will be loosely spread. Thank you. In the next uh, video, we will see about diphthongs. Just go through all these and try to understand the three classifications of vowel sounds with reference to the three term label.